Hello great people, today we will be looking at retirement and your relationships. Retirement and your relationships. Research shows that those who have solid connections, solid relationships tend to live longer. They tend to, the probability of them suffering from dementia is less than those who don't have strong connection the older they become. So, okay, so that shows that Relationships should be a lifelong journey, so you don't graduate from building and sustaining relationships. So, if you are in a, if you usually fall out with people, you might begin to look at new ways that you need to begin to strengthen your connection and strengthen your relationships. Okay, so what are the key relationships you should prioritize? Number one, your relationship with your spouse. If you're planning and praying for both of you to live long together, you have to plan how you have to work on that relationship so that. Both of you will be able to enjoy your company when your children are out of the door. Okay? Sometimes people just focus on, oh, my children, my children, my children, my children. At the end of the day, they alienate their spouse. Or sometimes people focus on career, 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 career. At the end of the day, when they stop working, when they retire, they find out that the person they are living with is a total stranger to them. Yeah, don't let that happen to you. Okay? Another relationship you want to build is the relationship with your children with your in-laws, with your grandchildren. There are parents today who are fighting everybody. They're fighting their children, they're fighting their in-laws, they're fighting their grandchildren. They're not talking to anybody. The older you get, the more difficult it is for anybody to want to connect with you. All right? If you've never been in the life of your children, actively involved, creating positive memories, it's not uncommon for them not to want you in their life the older you get. All right, so you want to be able to foster and connect, build strong, meaningful connection. Let your children enjoy your company because they want to, not because they have to. Very important. Let them enjoy your company. Let them build relationship with you because they want to, not because they have to. If people do something out of sense with a sense of duty, sometimes it's not always the best experience. All right, so you want to build such, such connection with your children and with your grandchildren. Okay. Another relationship you need to form, you need to forge relationship with your community, all right? So it's very important for you to recognize that at that age, you still want to, you don't want to be left in a, in a home, for example. Some people don't mind, but some people want to still be relevant. You want to be able to folk build relationship with your community, with your church, you know, professional bodies, where you can volunteer your time, where you can serve the younger generation, where you can mentor and disciple the younger generation. That will keep you active. That will keep you active. That will keep your mind active. Also, you want, the older you get, the more you're going to need people. Of course, you, you, you definitely will expect to have some money, but there are things the money can buy. That's just one phone call to somebody else so somebody can really resolve a lot of issues for you. Because at that age, you are going to rely more on people to help you do one or two things. So you want to be able to have strong connection with people. Not people that will feel like, I mean, you've not added any value to me. Why are you making withdrawals? Because human beings, in one way or the other, they keep score. Okay? You want to be able to foster such relationships. Very, very, very important. Another key relationship is your relationship with yourself. You're going to spend a lot of time reflecting. And some of us don't like ourselves. We need to work on liking ourselves. You're going to spend a lot of time thinking and reflecting. You know? Uh, and then, you know, you have to get to that point where you have to begin to celebrate and begin to like yourself. Okay? Very important. Yeah. In fact, this your relationship with yourself connects and you know, ties off to other relationships. And the final relationship is your relationship with God. The older we get, the closer we are to the grave. So you want to have a solid relationship with God so that when you know that when you finally finish your assignment on this earth, you are going to the right place. I hope this helps. God bless you. Bye.